Hey guys, it's Juno here from Pulling's Guitar. Today I'll be showing you how to play Double Double by a Root Boy. So let's go straight in. Uh, we will only be using three simple chords for the song. We have the G, we have the C, and we have the D. And back to the G. Same chord progression throughout for the verse, for the intro, the verse, and the chorus. Um, I know there's this little uh, root riff in the intro and goes on for the verse and then when it goes to the chorus it has um, a different type of rhythm um, which I, um, I sort of struggle to figure out to be honest so I uh, just sort of came up with something like this So that's why for you know it could sound good for the for the chorus so i guess you could try it out um so the chord progression g um if you don't know how to play this chord i'll show you quickly so what i'm showing you is what we use for the chorus and um i will show you something different for the intro and the verse okay so for the g so in the key of g here yeah, so we'll be using the g shape meaning that this Two fingers here yeah? my ring finger and my pinky are gonna be here uh, throughout my chord changes from G to C and then to D so for G so two fingers here so your ring finger and your pinky are on the the B and the E okay on the third fret and I take my first finger it goes on the uh, on the A A string second fret and my middle finger goes on the E string, third fret, and you strum everything. That's the G. And to play the C, very simple, just move down, first finger down onto the D, and then your middle finger down to the A. And then you have your C, so you strum from the A note. So you have that C chord. Then the next one is going to be your D, okay? So take everything off. Well, not everything. These two fingers again are moving. So you like your normal D, like you, the way you play your normal D actually. So first finger is on the D, sorry, on the G string, um, second fret. Um, next finger is going to be right underneath it, on the E, okay? Second fret. And then your ring finger is going to be on the G, third fret. And if you like, you can put your pinky there. So that's how you play the simple, um, the main chord for the uh, the chorus. And um, for the intro, you can you can hear that I'm doing something like this. Okay, I'm not really using all my G, for example. As you can see, these two fingers are off, so it's just okay. So I'll bring my camera closer up so you see what I'm doing. So as you can see here, yeah, I'm right on my G again. So on the third fret, this time I'm only using my um, my middle finger. If you like, you can use your first finger as well. Uh, but I use my middle finger on the G note. So the third, the third fret on the G string. Um, and then if you focus, so I'm not placing my finger anywhere else. So just that. And uh, if you focus on my right hand, I'm playing the bass. And I'm picking the B and I'm picking the G. So that's what you need for the G chord. Bass B G bass B G bass B G bass B G. Okay, you do that four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, so four times for the um for the G, and when we go to the C. We we'll do C two times, and for the C, um, where we're picking from, we're picking from, we're picking with the bass notes on the A string, okay. And then next one is gonna be the E, and then the B. Remember, for the G it was the B and the G, but on the um. On the C note, on the C chord, it's going to be the E and the B. Okay, if you put it together, it should sound something like this. 
Okay, that's two beats. One, two, and then we'll go to the D. Similar to what we did for the C, I'm playing the, um, now my bass note is down on the D note, and um, I'm plucking my, my E again, and then my B. Oops. And then go back to the G. Okay, just to make this very, very simple with your, um, with your left hand, uh, with your right hand, sorry, um, because with picking, you want to really designate um, each finger to, uh, to a specific string. So that will make it more easier for you when you're picking. So for your thumb, your thumb are playing this, this bass note. So the E, the A, and the D are designated for the thumb, okay? It's easier to move up and down. And then your first finger is designated to the, um, to the G, your middle finger to the, to the B, and then your ring finger to the, to the E. Okay, that will make it really simple. So when I play the G, for example, I'm only using the my first finger and my middle finger. And when I go to the C, for example, I'm only using my my ring finger and then my middle finger. Okay, I don't I don't I don't need to be using just these two, moving these two up and down. You can do that if you feel like that's more comfortable for you. But I feel like if you keep everything to um. To the way I'm showing you, in the long term, you will benefit from it more because you just know you don't have to worry about, oh, are my fingers in the right position? If your fingers are in the right position already, you just need to just obviously move your finger and it will play the correct notes. So too much talking. So for the chorus, um, the strumming pattern that I showed you earlier on was something like this. Okay, so what I have is, so I play the bass, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay, again, bass, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, then you go to the C, bass, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then D, bass, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, it's very similar, it's the same thing I'm doing through. Um, throughout the song, um, like obviously you get the rhythm more when you do it a bit faster. But again, you start really slow and then you build on your speed. guys it's really really um, important that you keep um, that strumming pattern you know really um, slow and um, just keep on doing it every every day So I'm going to stop there today. I uh, don't want to take too much of your time. Uh, I hope you've found this tutorial really, really useful. Um, you know, there may be some aspect that I haven't covered. But if you have any question, guys, just leave them down in my comments. Um, I will try my best to respond as soon as I can. And uh, enjoy learning your new song. See you guys in the next video. Bye.